But for now, story time. And because we want to be spooky, I have to read this one, which is simply called The Scariest Story Ever. Sure will be. There was a man who worked hard all day and would come home and read scary stories. It's not the average daily routine for everybody, but it kept him happy. One night he realized the same old stuff he read was boring. So he typed in, Scariest Stories Ever. Up came Creepypasta, a sight everyone has heard. Wait, that's contradictory. The stories he read all day and night scared him. But he wasn't sure if they were real or not. Hint, they're not. As a matter of fact, it's these kind of things that driver people to the brink of insanity. What if there is a slender man? He looked out his window into the trees surrounding the house. He went to work, always turning his back. This man finally felt the thrill of being terrified. Every story he read, from Jeff the Killer to Smiley, made him want more... Really? Those are the... Guess it's time hey. to sp it's time to spam my original character Joff the Color in the chat. <laughs> he put on his jacket, took a camera and a flashlight, and started out the door. I will show everyone this slender man exists. And why stop there? Eight question marks. <laughs> Jeff, he's out there. They all are. He walked outside and looked for hours. No sign of Slenderman. So he decided to provoke him as the clouds covered the moon. And he was surrounded by darkness. Come on out, you disgrace to this earth. Why don't you come out? You've been here so long. Nothing. Not even the wind responded. He turned on his camera and started recording. What we have here is Slender Man's documentary. And he seems to be shy. He won't come out. He threw his camera against the trees. Well, that's... Now you're not finding Slender Man and you're out a few hundred dollars. What a waste. He walked back to his house when it all of a sudden started to rain. He then started repeating to himself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the song of the count. No, it doesn't actually say that. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Every time the lightning striked, he would count. He believed every time he counted. That's home far the lightning was away in seconds by miles. What the, he, I he, mean, there's technically truth in that, but the way they've written it is like... The way they've written it, time and distance are warping together. He walked into his house dripping wet. He called for his wife. Hey, honey, Slendy won't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> she, she walked over to him with a displeased face, but hid it with a smile. She was gashing beautiful. Huh? You would wonder why a messed up man would have such a beautiful gem like that. Wow, we actually covered that. Honey, Slender Man isn't real. Or are you messing with me? All of a sudden, a huge lightning bolt hit the house. The man smiled. He's real, and so is Jeff. They all love me and want me to prove these pastas are real. Their 13-year-old son walked in. Dad, where's my camera? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you sitcom laugh. Medium sitcom laugh and applause. I have that sound file. Mm-hmm. 
The man smiled so creepy. I gave it to Slender Man so he could record him sh himself. He seems shy. His son looked confused and asked Mom, What's wrong with Daddy? She looked just as puzzled. He's just obsessed with creepypasta. I think your father just got his pants scared off. The boy laughed and went downstairs. The man went into the basement looking for a raincoat and his w wife followed. Honey, you're scaring me. Do you really think these thing are real? He started laughing insane and loud. It went on for about 12 seconds. I think you're insane, he said as he reached into his drawer. She got, she started to get angry. Okay, enough is enough. I'm, I'm calling your father. Maybe he can talk some sense into you. He then pulled out a knife and stabbed her in the back as she was walking up the stairs. Let us wait it quickly. She gulped blood and slid down the stairs, looking into her lover's eyes. He opened the closet and revealed dead bodies, at least 40 to 45 in his walk-in closet. What? Wow, that's a lot. Okay. You have to be very efficient using space to get that many... She said with all her power, I thought we weren't keeping secrets. He smiled and ripped open a wall and pulled out a body of her dead sister. Mm. She started crying. I can't. Kill me. Kill me. He laughed harder. Junior, come down here. Your mom needs help. You could hear the boy coming downstairs. Mommy, he screams. He grabbed the boy and tied him down. He began to laugh and explain. Now, you can both finally listen to me. These pastas are real. In a... St How can you take that I sentence? I cooked them myself. <laughs> Fettuccine linguine. <laughs> Martini bikini. In a sense, you see... I look at these monsters because I think, finally, there's things worse out there than me. I've murdered people for fun, and you know what? I don't care. Their screams were worth it. I love the terror in their souls. There are monsters in all of us. He he looked at... Ju Wait. Oh, I guess he's not talking anymore. He looked at Junior and then looked at his mom, who seems to be missing. Where is she? Huh? You saw- you saw here he smacked him. He cried. I don't know. She then appeared behind him. Hey, asshole. <coughs> her anger made him angry, and he tried to charge her from behind her back. She pulled a gun and shot him three times. He smiled to himself and said before he fell to his knees, there's monsters inside us, and sometimes they win. He fell down. It was quiet. She ran to her son, called the police, and created. Three months later, the man sitting in the hospital finally realized he lost his insanity. Wait. If you lose your insanity... Um, hmm. All this time, he just wanted a good scare. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> he drank his medicine and heard a door open in close. He asked, Doctor? No one where he could see until a figure jumped on his bed and held a knife to his neck. Why don't you go to sleep? That's apparently the scariest story ever. Was 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 that Joff at the end? I assume that was Joff. Okay. 
<laughs> so I have a question. If he's scared and, like, believes in all these stories and shit, is he also, like, shit your pants terrified when his kid jumps out from behind a closet door or something? Like, but We can only assume so. 